done with uh, this composition that we just renamed in composition settings. Let's go to 03B alpha start. So here we have some some pieces of footage. I'm going to solo each one. So that's a, a photo. Uh, this is a wireframe 3D model of a of a phone, old cell phone. Look at that flip phone. <laughs> anyway, um, microscope and so on. Right. So if you sequence these, so let's sequence these, um, and let's sequence these out of order. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to click on the first one, hold on your command key, click on the last one click on the second one and then click on the third one so the order in which you seek the order in which you select these things that's the order that will be sequenced so now right click on them and choose keyframe assistance sequence layers and um, let's overlap by one second and dissolve the front layer okay hit OK so now this is the order that you selected them and this is the order in which they'll be sequenced so if you type a U you'll see them being faded out faded out here to reveal this one but if you look at it if you look at the actual footage it's a little little odd right so it's the the next footage comes in fully opaque and it doesn't quite look that great so what we'd like to do is have this one fade out and this one fade in in the same amount of time so let's undo these command Z right so the back to the beginning and I'm going to type a U again. All right, so now we're going to let's select a different order. So it doesn't matter. So hold on your command key and do some random selecting in a different order. So now do the same thing. Right click, keyframe assistant, sequence layers. And this time, uh, instead of dissolve front layer, let's cross dissolve front and back and hit OK. So now if you type a U to reveal any keyframe keyframes, you can see that um, this this has been faded, uh, faded in. So, so here's a cross dissolve here. Fade in. Let's look at this. So one fades in and the other one fades out. Same thing here. All right. So that's that could be handy depending upon the kind of footage that you have.